What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. We're here. Ah, one of my favorite spots, the Ross. And y'all can see that right there. There's a little bit of a line. Uh, cause this is the first day they're opening. They're only gonna open Wednesdays and Thursdays. Shout out to the homie that hit me up on uh I think actually on my comments and let me know they were opening up. And then uh, my sister-in-law also had told us about it a couple days later. But yeah, y'all see there's a little bit of a line. So I'm just doing my little intro with y'all real quick. We're going to see what it is. I'm going to try to uh, get in there quick, I guess. Get me a cart. And I made, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy in there. Me personally, I'm looking for shorts because it's been 90 something all week. So it's been hot as hell. Uh, I need more shorts. And of course, I'm gonna go to the shoes. You already know what it is, but also I'm trying to get my sock game up. So now I'm gonna be checking out the socks a little bit more and picking up more than I was before because I really don't have that many like socks that are besides just no shows and just the regular, regular degulars. But uh, anyway, enough talking. I'm gonna get in the line. They don't open till 10, it's barely 8 30. Y'all see there's a few people waiting. So uh, yeah. Let's get up in there, wait in line for a little while, and hopefully we can find some steals and deals. All right, guys, so we're here, still in line. Ross is about to open up. The hype is real. Y'all can see there's a bunch of people. The line goes all the way back there, so we got here early enough. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we'll see what's in there, see what we find. Y'all can see the line, it's going way back there. There's still pet people back there. I guess we're just gonna stay recording. Got the 12s on today. My wife has the 11s. All right, and we're finally in here. I'm gonna check out what shoes they got, as usual. Looks like they got a full little selection. Hopefully, they have some stuff. Some cowboys. Uh, let's see. It's been a while. It's been a while, guys. Feels good to be back in here. Let me start it off with the bigger sizes. They got these for 30 bucks. They are size 13 though, but we're gonna throw them in, see what it is. Keep looking around. I'm trying not to make this video too long, guys. I don't think they have anything too crazy. Kind of feel like I should be at the Nike outlet right now instead, but I didn't know they opened up. Some Fila's, some Adidas. Those ain't too bad, 24 bucks. K-Swiss, who rocked K-Swiss back in the day? Some more Adidas. These are actually pretty clean for 30 bucks. That's not bad. Let's see, let's keep looking around. Some Nikes. Nike slides. Yeah, surprisingly, they haven't been open for months and they don't have much. Some more Adidas right here. The Ultra Boost for 30 bucks. I think I'll just throw these in and then later I'll probably put them back. Some more of those Adidas. Some of these right here. For 14 bucks. Yeah, those are going in the cart. Let's see what else with these. That's some Adidas Stan Smiths. Pretty buttery suede, going for 30, 39, 40 bucks. It's not bad. Some more Adidas right there. And some more of those Ultra Boosts. I think these are the Hardens, if I'm not mistaken. It has that boost in the back. I may be wrong though. Oh, it says Marquee Boost. It remind me of the Hardens. But yeah. Oh, let's see. I'm just keeping recording, guys. Got these, not sure in the exact model. They remind me kind of like the Prestos, but that sole's big time different. But they're asking 70 on those, so taxing. Got these right here with that see-through sole. I think they're the SP Zoom. Size 10. Going for 45, though. So nothing too crazy. We're checking out the socks here yet again. We got a good little selection. We got the Iron Mike socks. Those are going with me. Let's see what else we find. We got these skeleton ones. They look pretty crazy. I'm going to look through these because they got a lot. 
Got the breaking bad socks. That was dope. Mm. Jaws. SpongeBob. Got like a tie dye. Popcorn. We got all kind of socks. I got some good ones. I'm gonna keep looking through it though, cause the shoes was not all that. Got a couple little steals, but I expected more to be honest. I guess. Those are for kids. Wait, hold on. Ha, these are dope. Save Ferris. Trying to make sure I look through them pretty good. Got some more of those iron mics in the bag. Some American Pie. Some more Cheech and Chong right here. Uh, these ain't bad. And I'm making my second rounds. They got these. I didn't show them the first time. With that crazy midsole. Going for 30 bucks though. Um, and basically I'm going to go through all of them. Got the When Jesus Walks Sandals right there. Got the camel joints with that orange on the interior. Not even sure the name of this model, but uh, 23 bucks, 24 bucks. These right here with that weird upper. And I did actually find some stuff right now that I wasn't recording on camera, so I'll be showing that to you in a little bit. I guess I skipped these the first time. The Adidas, I think it was a Pro Fears or something like that. I got them on sale for 30 bucks, so pretty clean colorway. I don't like the model, but that colorway is not bad. And they have these I wanted to show. They are Gore-Tex. Crazy material. And look at the interior, though. You can't even wear those here in Texas anytime soon. 25 bucks. And what are these? Adidas. Has that old school fat. So it has like an old school feel of the shoe, but of course it has blue, so it's not. I'm only going for 11 bucks though. It's not bad. I saw these. They look like some regular uh, Pure Boost or something, but they're called AM4NYC. Size 11. But look at that bottom. It feels like, uh, I don't know, like it'd be powered by something. <laughs> I don't know. They're weird. The, t the tongue, I mean, the laces are 3M though. Something different, I guess. I came over here like to the jerseys. Kind of sometimes they'll have some jerseys. Got like a little Jordan jersey for six fifty. It is a size small though. But definitely not bad. They had some of these. Not sure what team that is or what, but they got a few things. Some LeBron jerseys. Twenty bucks though. Definitely not a LeBron fan, so I'll leave that. See that there. They do got the home and the away. The Cleveland's. These Portland Thorns. Mm -hmm. Only 20 bucks. Mm. Oh, this one looks dope. This one looks kind of vintage type. Regular price tag 65 and they got it for 17 Got an Adidas jersey. I know I like black and red, but not Adidas. 650 Got a Jordan zip up. Pretty clean, and it has this label on the bottom. Forty bucks though. I mean, it was eighty, but eh. they got this Houston World Champions. I mean, you know they got the controversy now, but it still has a World Series holographic sticker. Four bucks. And it is double sided, so that's definitely not bad. And my cart is full, but it is what it is. Got a hunt. Got a hunt for them. Got a hunt for them steals and deals. For the Travis Scotts. Oh, yeah, Tide has been hitting lately. Levi's taking advantage of that. I think it was only like seven bucks. Yeah, seven bucks. Not bad. I'm just looking around still because my wife's still looking around. So I found these Nike Reacts. They're too big for me, those size 13s. They're only going for 40 bucks. That's definitely a deal. 
Now the Rex on sale and stuff, but still to get it under 60 bucks is a pretty good deal in my opinion. And you got a smaller pair of these for 28. You got these. These weren't here earlier either. I guess they're restocking some stuff. This is a crazy eight. I think the boost you wear or something like that. For 35 compared to 120. I'm gonna check prices on these though. Hmm. The leather on these looks pretty good. All right, guys, we're finally here back at the house. I didn't do no outro when I was leaving the store. Just felt weird. There's a lot of people. I did take a quick little picture of the big, big, uh, uh, big bag, as you can see. We bought 11 pairs of shoes. One pair of shoes is already sold. It was this pair right here, the Parley NMDs. And I sold them for the low also to one of the homies on Twitter. That's what I'm trying to do with these pairs. I got them for the low. Just trying to make a little something on them, but still give y'all a good deal on them. So all these pairs will be for sale. Or mostly all the pairs. Anyway, let's get into it because it's a lot of shoes. Like I said, one pair is already gone. And I got them for a steal. Here's another pair. Um, I think I already took off. Yeah, I already took off the tag, but I took a couple of the pictures of them. You can see one picture right here. The upper is like all 3M. And pretty unique shoe. Something different. It has like that cover on the laces haven't seen this shoe before but the leather on the actual tongue feels pretty good and this shoe is i believe a size nine yeah it's a size nine so if y'all interested hit me up I'm not asking nothing crazy on these the next pair of shoes these actually retailed for about 200 bucks i ended up getting them for about 30 they have that 3m laces which y'all can see here and was a super dope shoe still has that new tag the what do they call the am4 nyc and like i said i'm not trying to ask nothing crazy on these i may do like 50 maybe 60 bucks shipped or something like that i'll see what it is but uh yeah these next ones i got a couple of couple of pairs Ugh, i can get them they are cleats though they're not regular shoes but i got them for three dollars three dollars for these right here if the camera will focus there we go three dollars and y'all see how it has the Jordan 1 just flat look to it. I'm trying to get a Jordan 1 shoe in a size 11 and a half or 12. I just need the sole. So if you have a beater pair that you don't want anymore, hit me up. Or a pair of dunks. Something with that same same kind of line. And I'm trying to sole swap these and make them into shoes. Because you can see on the interior of the shoe has that padding. If my camera will focus. There we go. Has that padding. So I just feel like it, it will make them real comfortable. And I like the way the colorway looks on this shoe. And I think it will make a badass uh, just a regular shoe instead of being a cleat. But if you want a cleat, uh, I guess let me know. I got a size 11 and a half and a 12, so yeah. This next pair I may keep for personal, but I don't have any Adidas. But boom, here it is right here. These Ultra Boosts. And the light's kind of blowing it up. But it's the ones with the trail, um, what do you call it? The trail traction, like a little bit more traction on the bottom. And these are a size 11 and a half, I think it was. Yeah, no, the size 12. Size 12, and I already tried these on. They actually fit really good. Uh, I just gotta convince myself to actually wear them since I don't wear Adidas shoes, really. And I don't have one Adidas in the collection. So we'll see, maybe this may make the cut. I got them for 30 bucks. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. Maybe I'll sell them. I mean, like I said, I'm not 100% convinced on keeping them yet, but I'm trying to talk myself into keeping them. The next pair right here is these right here. I think the camera's kind of blowing them up, but it might have just turned down a little bit. And this was a pair I really wouldn't have got if they had it. Most of them, they had them for like 30 bucks. Got this pair for $14. I had to scoop them up for that price. I'll probably be asking like maybe 30, 35, 40 bucks ship, something like that. Like I said, I'm still trying to pass the deals on to you. So you get a good pair of shoes and you're not paying out the for them. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm trying to go as quick as I can. This pair I kind of got on the whim. <laughs> Bear paws. They're size 13 for the big footers. Kind of like uh, the cheaper version of UGG, I guess you could say. But I got these for three bucks. So yeah, these ones hit me up. I put them, or actually four bucks. I got them for four bucks. <laughs> so yeah, hit me up if y'all looking for something like this. I'm, I'm not trying to charge really nothing on that. Just shipping is usually about 10 to 15 bucks depending where i'm shipping a pair of shoes so that's what kind of kills me on that now these right here i kind of got them not 100 percent but i got them for 20 bucks there's some prestos i like the colorway on them look pretty clean and uh yeah these are a smaller size though they're size eight and a half right no size seven 
size 7 right here. So I went ahead and scooped them up. Hit me in the DMs if y'all interested or whatever. Um, this pair I just kind of scooped up on a whim. I'm still on the fence whether I should have even gotten it. And I guess we moved to the shoes pretty quick. We're on the last pair of shoes right here. The 98 Crazy BYW Boost You Wear. And I liked it. It looked like a retro type of shoe, but it does have the boost on it. And I got this one for a steal. It was only 11 bucks. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to be charging tax on these. But I feel like it's a good model for somebody that wants that retro looking Adidas shoe. And um, it is a size 10 and a half. So if anybody's interested, just hit me up. Let me know. Now, a couple things that I picked up as far as clothing wise and accessories, I guess you could say. Picked up this tee that I showed in the B-roll. Or throughout the video, I guess you could say. That champ shirt, it was only four bucks, so I went ahead and scooped it up. That one I may be passing to one of my uh, one of my family members, we'll just see. Um, if not, let me know if y'all are interested in that, nothing crazy though. Now this one was only 17 bucks, but it had a retail of 65 and I actually liked it for me, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet. That Magic, Orlando Magic in the old school script, Nike long sleeve in that dry fit material super dope i liked it and it has that hardwood classic type uh logo on it if you can see it right there it's not white it's like a like a tan color i guess you could say to give it that hardwood classic look now this part i'm not gonna go through all of them individually because uh yeah there's a few of them y'all saw me show the socks and there's ones that i didn't show some mortal kombat socks i thought those were dope the Ferris Bueller socks. I did scoop up the Mike Tyson socks. The Breaking Bad socks. And these I'll be giving away, I think, on, on my Twitter. Just a small giveaway, nothing too crazy. But I personally have these already. So I'll be giving those away. I got them for that reason, just to give to somebody. Give a little something back, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I picked up a bunch of shoes, and I feel like I got steals on all of them. Uh, I went to a few other Rosses recently, so those videos will be dropping soon, so stay tuned for that. Today was a double video upload. It is the same day I'm recording and I'm editing and I'm putting it up. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already, guys. Make sure to check out the site, www.tonystiendita.com slash products. So you can check out everything I have there. There's still stuff for sale. I do still have those uh, Mambo mentalities as well. And some of these shoes will be making it to the site today, later. Um, but I do have to dip right now. <laughs> so with that said, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. Like I said, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you too can be part of that 210 Guy Kicks fam. Almost 2,400 strong. I really do appreciate each and every one of you that rocks out with the channel. Retweets. Hits that thumbs up, just spreads love and just awareness of the channel, helps other people find the channel. Really goes a long way and I'm really appreciative of that. And I will be doing a giveaway at 3K, so giveaway coming. <laughs> but anyway guys, it's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace guys. To the next one.